The Seven of Pentacles is about setting goals, working hard, persevering, resting, and letting things unfold according to Mother Nature's timetable. Stay tuned and learn how to handle the Seven of Pentacles when it shows up in a reading. Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Seven of Pentacles. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next, I'll briefly explain what this card means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed position in a reading. I'll give some examples from my life so you can relate the card to a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below, as well as to the many books that I've used in my research. So let's get started. In the Seven of Pentacles, we see a young male gardener with brown hair leaning on a hoe. He is looking at vines covered with six pentacles. He's wearing a white undershirt, blue shirt and leggings, a brown tunic, and boots that are two different shades of brown. To our left, we see a grapevine with lots of foliage, including leaves that have turned brown. There are no grapes. There are six pentacles on the vine and a pentacle on the ground in front of him. We can see soil in the foreground. He is standing on blue ground cover. There are purple mountains in the background, and the sky is gray. When the Seven of Pentacles appears in a reading, it is about needing patience and perseverance in order to meet your goals. It can mean that you are working alone, that you are exhausted from doing too much work and are taking a break, that your hard work has resulted in a positive outcome and you are getting close to reaching your goal. It can be about the importance of setting long-term goals. The Seven of Pentacles can signify that you need to plan what you will do next, and finally, it can mean that you are either pausing to evaluate how far you've come or that you need to take a break to figure out what to do next. Let's talk about the symbolism of the Seven of Pentacles. We see a young man with brown hair leaning on a hoe. I am not a gardener and decided to do some research on hoes. It turns out that it is a really useful and versatile tool that is used for breaking up the soil and removing weeds so that you can plant and maintain a garden. I came upon a chat in Quora.com and one poster said that a hoe is the only tool that doesn't damage the roots of a plant. It can also be used for sowing seeds. I also learned that there are five different types of hoes, which is getting way beyond the scope of this card since you can't see the blade. Because the hoe has so many uses, I think that it represents how hard he has been working tending his vines. I've included a link in case you want to learn more about hose. The gardener is wearing a white undershirt, a blue shirt and blue leggings, a brown tunic, and boots that are different shades of brown. The white undershirt is next to his body and indicates his pure intentions. His blue shirt and blue leggings represent imagination and inspiration so he is fully aware of what the vines will look like once the garden reaches its potential. Brown indicates that he is very grounded. He is standing in a stable position with his feet wide apart and his toes facing outward. The two different colored boots can represent uncertainty or the need to make a decision. To our left, we see a grapevine with lots of foliage, including leaves that have turned brown and no grapes. I did some research about grapevines. I learned that they grow very fast in the first year, but it can take them up to three or four years to bear fruit. The key to success in growing grapes is pruning them. So growing grapes is a combination of hard work and patiently waiting for the vines to bear fruit. He is looking at vines covered with six pentacles. There is a single pentacle at his feet. So how do we interpret the six pentacles on the vine versus the single pentacle by his feet? I'll give you four interpretations. Number one is that the gardener is pleased with his work and taking a break to admire it. Yes, one of the pentacles has fallen off the vine, but that's to be expected and doesn't bother him. 
The second interpretation is that this card represents perseverance and patience. He's done all he can. Six of the seven pentacles are still growing. Now he has to wait. The third interpretation is that the six coins on the vines could represent how much he will invest for his future, and the single coin represents what it is safe for him to spend now. And finally, number four. Since some of the leaves are brown, it could indicate that his current approach is not working, so he might be pondering a new course of action. The six pentacles on the vine represent his previous approach, and the single pentacle, like the ace of pentacles, represents starting out in a new direction. We can see soil in the foreground. He is standing on blue ground cover. It is the same color as his shirt and tights and represents imagination and inspiration. He knows what he wants and he can see a successful harvest in his mind. There are purple mountains in the background. Mountains represent obstacles and purple represents spirituality. So it seems that he might be facing challenges in the future and his faith might help him make it through. The sky is gray. This indicates that he is unsure about the results of his efforts. When the Seven of Pentacles appears in an upright position, it tells us that we need to set long-term goals and then be patient and persevere. Remember that the vines can take many years to bear fruit. There is no shortcut for time. Do what you can by planting your seeds and tending to your garden and then stop and wait. That's all you can do is wait for Mother Nature to do her part and it to be time to harvest. The Seven of Pentacles can mean that you are on the road to success, your hard work is paying off, you've reached critical milestones and you're getting close to achieving your goals. It can mean that you are exhausted from doing too much work and you are taking a break. Note that unlike in the Three of Pentacles where there is a team, this guy is working solo. He is seeing the results of his decisions and actions but maybe he's thinking that it's time to ask for help. It can mean that you are no longer inspired by your work, things are not going as planned, it's taking too long, you've worked hard and haven't received the rewards you hoped. You're discouraged and wondering if this is the right path for you. I'm sure none of us can relate. It can mean that you need to change course. The leaves are turning brown, one of the pentacles has fallen off, Something is clearly not working and you need to figure out what to do next. Finally, the Seven of Pentacles can signify that you need to plan what to do next. The farmer might not be happy with the size of the harvest and is not getting any benefit from the time and effort that he's invested. He needs to figure out if he can fix the situation or needs to move on to something else. Here's an example of the upright Seven of Pentacles for my life and it's about my experience learning tarot, which has required patience, hard work, and perseverance. I first became interested in tarot about 20 years ago and purchased a few books back in 2007. I remember paging through Tarot for Dummies, which I now consider to be a pretty basic and well-written book, and being completely overwhelmed and confused. To make things worse, my deck wasn't a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck, so my deck didn't match the pictures. At that time, I assumed that tarot decks were like playing cards and didn't realize that there were all kinds of different decks. I dabbled in tarot for the next 17 years, but never really got beyond the confused stage. Then in September 2022, I decided to get serious and signed up for an online class about reading tarot, and we had live sessions every Tuesday for 12 weeks. The class was a big time commitment. However, it gave me a structure and timeline for learning tarot, and I took it very seriously. Finally, things started to fall into place. I gained a basic understanding of each tarot card and also how to conduct a reading. In December 2022, I closed down my coaching business. I was facing major surgery in January 2023 and knew it would take me a few months to recover. I recovered but ran into other major health problems due to Lyme disease and two bouts of COVID and then required two more surgeries. Because I wasn't working, I spent all of my free time studying tarot. And it wasn't until October 2023 that I got my energy back and came up with the idea of creating this YouTube channel. 
So how does my tarot journey relate to the Seven of Pentacles? Well, one thing I learned is that it's impossible, at least for me, to learn tarot in a short period of time. I had to make tarot a long-term goal as my brain can only maintain a certain amount of information at once. Rest breaks were essential, so I needed to take time to pause and contemplate each card and figure out how it connected with my life. I also needed patience and perseverance because some cards were tougher to learn than others. Taking classes has been essential to learning tarot, at least for me. I discovered that I could not do it alone. I needed the structure of a class and also appreciated the guidance of a skilled teacher. Books are amazing and I'm a big reader, but I wasn't making much progress trying to learn tarot on my own. Another lesson I learned was to not compare myself to others. I have a good friend who reads tarot cards intuitively. She has never taken a class and does not want to. I had the expectation that I could intuitively read cards as well, and I could not. I needed to understand the meanings of the cards and also what the symbols meant before I could do readings. I've discovered that I need to take breaks and let the information on the cards percolate. And sometimes I get flashes of insight, which is really cool. Like the guy in the Seven of Pentacles, I've made progress learning tarot due to patience, hard work, and perseverance. When the Seven of Pentacles appears in a reverse position, it can mean that you are lazy. You are not willing to put in the work necessary to achieve your goals. That you are impatient and are giving up too soon. This is the Rome wasn't built in a day cliché. I was curious about the origin of this expression, and it was first included in a play written by John Hayward in 1538. There's a second half to this saying that I had never heard, and this is, Rome wasn't built in a day, but they were laying bricks every hour. I love this as an expression about taking hourly action towards your goals. The Seven of Pentacles reversed can mean that you're seeking instant gratification. Yet it might take years to see the seeds that you sowed grow. It can mean that you are experiencing unexpected setbacks, that you are not making long-term plans, and that your investment is not bearing fruit. You're putting in too much effort and not getting enough of a reward in return, and it's time to think of something else. It can mean that you are procrastinating or disorganized, and finally, that you are worried about your financial situation. Here's an example of the reverse Seven of Pentacles from my life about unexpected setbacks. If you've watched some of my videos, you'll know that I tore my rotator cuff in August 2022. It's now March 2023, and I have been in physical therapy for more than 18 months. When I requested an MRI after a year of not getting better, I learned that my shoulder was much more messed up than anybody thought and I had a problem that baffled several very seasoned doctors. I had given up finding a solution until my GP recommended a colleague who correctly diagnosed me, moved me to a more competent physical therapy clinic, and started me on a new regime of physical therapy. I was happy to finally be improving. Until last month when I experienced a couple of setbacks. At the beginning of February, my physical therapist increased my exercises and I really wasn't ready, and it completely flared my shoulder to the point I was in a great deal of pain. So that setback lasted about a week. A couple of days after the pain settled down, I was walking my miniature dachshund, and she got jumped by an off-leash pit bull. My dog was not bitten, but in the course of me pulling hard on the leash, I really flared up my shoulder, and I also hurt her back from pulling on the leash. So I will admit that these setbacks were physically and psychologically hard. Because I lost the entire month of February due to these couple of setbacks that were not my fault. Setbacks happen, and sometimes, like the guy in this card, we just have to wait and let Mother Nature do her part without interfering. But it is hard. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Seven of Pentacles. Number one, what has your hard work created? Number two, do you have long-term goals? Number three, what stops you from reaching your goals? Is it procrastination, laziness, disorganization, not having the right tools, or something else? 
Number four, do you have a problem taking breaks or are they part of your workflow? Number five, is there a project in your life that is not going as planned? Do you need to work harder or is it time to walk away? Number six, how do you deal with setbacks? And finally, number seven, is it time to change jobs? I hope that this has helped you connect with the seven of pentacles. And please join me for the next video, which is the eight of pentacles.